What's up, insiders? Deuces Jack. I'm at vapinginsider.com, and today we're going to be going over the return of the king. I'm talking about the smoke TFV 16. This is just one beastly tank. I'll tell you that right off the jump. Before we get into the video, make sure you check out our new merch site. You can get my tagline on a shirt or a hoodie. Now here is the tank. Check it out. Massive tank, bubble glass pre-installed, bottom airflow, stoppers on both ends, nice tension on the AFC ring, okay? Whatever you adjust on one, Happens on the other side. On the bottom, we got designed by Smoke, gold-plated 510, insulator ring around that, stainless steel threading around everything else. On the top side here, you can see it's got the new Smoke drip tip. Let me show you what I'm talking about. It's got that little bump there with the O-rings around it, and it's just a piece of, you know, Delrin or whatever it is, resin that fits over that piece. Not crazy about the new smoke drip tips. They put it on all their tanks, not a fan of it. They are comfortable, but I don't like the fact that they're proprietary. It annoys me, it really does. They, it does have a nice tight fit to it and it is very comfortable. Now, here's what I do love about smoke tanks. See that little button right there? See that right there? Press that in and swing it open. I like that lock. I love that lock. I kind of wish it was spring-loaded. That would be kind of cool. We've seen that on other tanks. Nice big fill port right here. Machining on it is actually very nice. Once you're done filling it up, you just click it right into place, and it don't move. It don't move. That's the way I like my tanks, so they don't open up in my pocket. Nice job on that. Let's pull this thing apart, and let me show you the coil. Unscrew the base, just like so. Pull the base out. And look at that massive, massive mesh coil. And again, look at those big juice slots. Awesome job. This is a 0.17 ohm coil, good for up to 120 watts. You know what, man? We're going to replace this coil. We're going to run the dual instead. So here's the spare coil. Look at this monster. I mean, look at the wicking slots on this thing. This thing is just massive, man. Now you can see this is the 0.12 ohm, good for 80 to 160 watts with a best of rating of 120 watts. You know what that means, man? That means this coil don't even start chucking until you put 80 watts through it. This thing's just got to be unbelievable. Look at those two big, big mesh strips in there. Unbelievable, man. Let's pop this beastly coil in there. Threading on this, man, a little bit on the crunchy side, could be smoother, that's for sure. But it gets in there fine, no problem. Make sure you screw it in there nice and tight. Juice we're gonna be using is Vape Tasia's Blueberry Killer Custard. Vape Happy, who sent me the tank, was also kind enough to send me a bottle of this as well. Make sure you go check them out. They got some great pricing. We'll have a link down below. So now we're gonna prime this coil up. And I'm gonna tell you right off the jump, man, don't be chinzy with the juice. Make sure you get this thing nice and primed because there's a lot of cotton in there, man. Get some juice down the middle there. Don't be afraid to be generous with the juice, all right? Get in those little wicking ports right there and kinda prime that up, man. Get it to soak up. Same thing with these wicking slots. Juice them up, baby. You want to make sure there's plenty of cotton in there, man. Don't worry. It's going to soak it up. All right? You get it nice and primed up. Once you're all primed up, you take your coil, pop it in there, a little bit of reverse thread, get it on there, screw it on there nice and tight. Make sure it's nice and snug so you got no leaking. Once you got it all snug, press your little lock, swing it open, and let's fill this bad boy up. Put your juice bottle in there. Give it a squeeze. Fill it up with all that blueberry custard goodness, man. Once it's all filled up like that, now you take it, swing your door closed, and now we're ready to vape. Also included in the packaging, you get a bunch of spare O-rings, a spare straight glass, a tank protector, you get a spare coil, a dual mesh coil, a warranty card, and 
a TFV 16 user manual. Check out this tank protector though, man. This is for the bubble glass. Look how big that thing is, man. Kind of cool. Kind of upset that they gave you a straight glass as a spare. I would have rather a bubble. All right, insiders, let's go over those cons and pros. First con is going to be, and I hate it, all the smoke tanks are coming out with this new proprietary drip tip. It's been mm -hmm. happening for a couple of months now. I hate it. I don't like it. I like the older ones, the 810 drip tip with the O-rings on the drip tip itself. This plastic piece with that little hump in the middle and the O-rings there, not a fan of it. This is a big boy. This is 28 millimeters at the base. So it's not going to look good on a lot of mods. So just be aware of that. This is a juice monster, man. This thing just chugs through the juice. You better have a cheap source for e-juice or DIY if you're going to run this bad boy. So far, and I'm sure that's going to change in the future, but so far there are only three coils available for it. That's going to be a con. But that's it on the cons, man. There's no deal breakers here. Let's move on to the pros because it's got some pros. First pro, man, the, you know, right off the bat, this thing's got great flavor and great clouds, but you got to pump some wattage through it. Let me show you what I'm working with here. I got it at 120 watts. Check it out. Here we go. This thing's just billowing clouds, baby. It's unbelievable. You can cloud up a room with this cloud chucker in no time. Awesome capacity on this tank. Gobs, and I mean gobs of airflow. With it wide open, it's like you're just breathing, man. Look. Just basically no restriction, man. You're just taking that deep. Good build quality on it. I like the build quality. I love the locking top cap on this thing. This is for high wattage vapors. Really, if you're not the type of vapor that doesn't vape over, you know, 100 watts consistently, this really isn't the tank for you. I mean, the coils say 80 watts, but that's really when they just start hitting. This is for people who like to be in that 100 to 160, 165 watt range. So that's it, insiders. Those are my cons and pros. Let's chat about this one a little bit because I want to talk about the wattage that you're actually sending through these coils. I mean, you got to remember, right? I just showed it to you at 120 watts, right? Here is the same coil at 140. I mean, just phenomenal. And the surprising thing about it at 140 watts, it's actually a, it's not a warm vape. It's, it's wide open. It's not warm at all. I'm going to keep the airflow wide open. I'm going to crank it up to 160 watts. 160 watts on the Vaporesso Gen Mod. Check it out. Again, at 160 watts, you'd expect this thing to be super warm. It's not. So if I cut down the airflow, let's say halfway, right? I'm cutting it down halfway now. Definitely gets a little warmer, but it's not to the point where it's unvapable at all. The, the, my point to, uh, with this whole little exercise is even though you're running, you know, kind of big numbers through this coil as far as the wattage goes, the vape remains relatively cool. So I just want to point that out for my subs so you guys know that. You're probably watching me and you're going, he's vaping at 160 watts. That thing must be burning. No, it's not. It's not burning at all, man. It's, it's the, the, the coil keeps up. It wicks fine. I've hit it four or five times in a row at 160 watts. No issues with wicking. It's just a flavor and cloud beast. That's the bottom line. So if you're one of those vapors that likes to hit your vape at really high wattages, definitely check this one out because we're going to have a link down below. Let's go over some of the specs on the Smoke TFV-16. It measures in at 28 millimeters at the base, 32 by 64 millimeters overall. It weighs in at 94 grams. It holds a whopping 9 mLs of juice. It has a locking top cap. Two coils are included in the kit. A 0.17 ohm coil, good for up to 120 watts. And a 0.12 ohm coil, good for 80 to 160 watts. It has an optional 0.15 coil available. 
good for up to 90 watts. It's available in black, red, blue, gold, stainless steel, and rainbow. Thanks for watching the video, insiders. Definitely appreciate it. Remember, we're not a monetized channel, so we'd appreciate it if you check out our new merch store. You can get my tagline on a shirt like you see me wearing, or you can get it on a hoodie as well. We have some other great designs that you can put on a t-shirt or hoodie. Here's another one of them, Vape King shirt. And here's one of my personal favorites, Vape So Hard, the FDA Wanna Find Me. Go over to our new store and check it out. So that's it, insiders. That's all I got for you today. Please remember to do your part in advocacy. Please call your local state representatives. Call the governor. Call the president. Let them know that you vape and you vote, and you will not vote for anybody that supports any type of vaping ban. It's important now, more than ever, that you keep living that vape life. We're out of here. Deuces.